Welcome to section three of the vintage Vespa electric conversion. Today we will be installing the motor and the battery box. Uh, pretty straightforward. It's just uh, the motor and wheel are a bit heavy and we just have to struggle to put it in. So let me grab the motor. This is the motor and the swing arm and everything. We just slide it into place. Careful of the shock. Now we're going to be taking the big bolt which is right here. Make sure you have the washer on the head side. We're going to rotate up the swing arm into place. Then hard to do with one person, but I can do it. Then we slide in the bolt with the washer installed. Then we push it through. Uh, we're going to be putting new cables in, but that's how you put in the big bolt. Then you take your shock mount bolt, which will hold the back of the motor in. You basically just elevate it. Whip it into position. I like to start it with a screwdriver just to center it. Slide the bolt in, put a washer on, uh, there's going to be a, a lock washer on the back, and the nut. We're going to start them now. Okay, so technically your motor is almost mounted, which is pretty simple. You take the main cable wiring harness from the new motor, you slide it through the air in intake into the main compartment of the bike, making sure not to pinch anything. Out. Um, next, uh, I'm not forgetting the main nut yet. We'll put that on after we install the battery box. So what you have to do with the battery box is this is the battery box. It has a big hole here where the main nut that holds the motor in holds the battery tray on. Then you need to drill three holes. Here, here, and here. I've pre-drilled them because I didn't think you'd like to watch that. But it's always a good practice for when you're drilling into painted bodywork. You measure. Uh, 
you line up the tray, mark where your holes are, take a punch, and dimple the metal so that the drill bit can bite it. Then we put on a piece of masking tape just to protect everything from scratches. And then I use, whenever I'm doing body work, I use a, it's called a step drill bit. Uh, and it required a six millimeter hole, which is the second step. So you just drill carefully till it's in. And you're ready to mount the motor. Uh, the battery box. So this is how we do that. Take the battery box. First of all, we're going to remove the tape so you can see the holes are nice and smooth and the paint wasn't hurt. Then we tuck the wire, the main wire, from the wiring harness behind the battery box, place the battery box on the main bolt that holds the engine in. Start the nut, and that will hold the box for you for a few minutes. Then I have three big Allen bolts that I like to use uh, with sheet metal. It just seems to work better. You put in the first bolt loosely. I'll throw the nut behind it. just to start it so it won't fall out. Then using a nut and a washer, uh, that bolt had a nut and a washer as well. Using a nut and a washer, put in the second bolt, make sure everything's just loose for now. The washer on first. Then the nut, and uh, you can't see anything, so you have to use your fingers as your eyes. So just feel around. Mechanics do this every day. Then we put in the final one. Which is right here. When you're measuring for the holes, uh, make sure you line, uh, make sure you level the battery box so it's nice and level, it looks professional, doesn't look like somebody hung a box on the side. And I'll just start snugging them up, and you'll get the idea of what the battery box will look like. So there's the battery box. Pretty simple, looks nice, it's nice and level. Um, what you'll do now is just uh, torque all the bolts to spec. Um, but I believe I'm going to take the battery box off when I progress. I wanted to put the rear wheel on because I'm going to do some more work on the bike after I remove it from the lift because I'm going to have to get into the front of the bike and it'll be easier on the ground. This way I can roll it around. Uh, stay tuned for uh, part four. Part four will be 
wiring all of the connectors. Uh, and then either next time or the part five will cable it up and we should be very close. So stay tuned, uh, like, subscribe, leave comments. Uh, I'll, try, I'll answer almost any of them. Uh, and uh, tune in. We'll continue the journey very soon. Thank you very much.